Hey guys, it's me and I'm here to film another period video. So if you're not familiar with this series, basically for the last few periods of mine, I think this is now my this is my third or fourth period that I have documented. I've been using different reusable products that are alternatives to the mainstream uh, menstrual products. So instead of using normal tampons, instead of using regular pads, I've been using things that are more natural, reusable, and better for yourself and the environment. This month I decided to tackle reusable tampons. A lot of you guys have been asking for this and it was something that I honestly was just like, no, never, not gonna do it. But you know what, that's how I felt about the period panties, that's how I felt about cloth pads, that's how I felt about the Diva Cup, and now I love all those things. I got in contact with an Etsy shop who that makes and sells reusable tampons. So there are lots of different reusable tampons that I've seen online. I think one of you guys suggested, or not suggested, but wanted to see one with a crocheted type top. I saw pictures of those, but I really liked this Etsy shop's tampons better just because not only were they one piece, but they were all natural. There was no dyes or anything like that because as you guys know, your vagina absorbs anything that you put in there. So if you're using artificial dyes or artificial uh, type fabrics and stuff like that, that goes into your body. So I I liked this seller because she, not only did she have an organic cotton, just plain cotton reusable tampons, but she also had like a hemp slash cotton uh, version as well. But she did send me the five pack of kind of just like um, the assortment pack, I guess you could say. Uh, there's two that look like this. They're just like regular pieces of cloth with like these strings. But it's just like cloths like this that you roll up and then you just stick up your vagina. Uh, so there's like two like um, just regular sized ones for like regular flow. There's two smaller ones for like your lighter days or your spotting. And then there was one super one. As you can see, this one's a little stained because I have, I did use them. These came really, really clean though. They, I mean, I used every single one of these and they washed out and got really clean. This one for some reason, I think because I did keep it in for so long, which you'll see, it just the blood stayed on it longer. So it did stain, which, you know, again, it doesn't bother me. My reusable pads have stains on them. Nobody but you guys <laughs> really see them, so who really cares? Barb is the owner of the Etsy shop that sent me these reusable tampons. I will leave a link to her uh, shop below here. She makes other things too as well, so make sure to check her out. She's super sweet, she's super kind. Her online store has a very nice detailed section about kind of how to wash them, how to use them, that kind of thing as well. She also has a YouTube video on how to make these reusable tampons, which I think is so awesome. Them because to her it's more important that women have access to affordable reusable products so if you want to check out the video I will leave that video linked underneath this video as well so you can make your own tampons if you want she said it's super affordable like you can get a yard of organic cotton uh, for like 20 bucks and it's enough to make you know the sizes that you need for you and some friends and all of that so I thought that was pretty cool so as always I'm gonna leave you guys right here so you can watch my period uh, as I document it day to day and then I'm gonna cut back in at at the end of it just to kind of go over my final thoughts on the product uh, and all of that. So as always, beware, I do show you my my actual period blood. I don't hide anything. I don't sugarcoat anything. What you see is literally how my period is. I don't blur things out, nothing to that effect. So you are being warned right now, if you're new to my channel, if you're new to this video series, you are gonna see real period stuff. Like you're gonna see just real period stuff. And you're gonna see my dirty bathroom sink because I have three kids, a husband, and not a lot of time to clean all the time. If you're not comfortable seeing all those things, as always, I'll leave a link underneath this video with the other links uh, to skip past that stuff to see my final thoughts on this product. But if you are interested, stay tuned. And again, this is just a normal thing, guys. It's a normal bodily function that every woman goes through, well, most women go through, and it should just be treated as that. It's normal. So again, warning, real blood, real period stuff. So yeah, this is what they look like. And um, yeah, uh, go ahead and watch the rest of the clips where I shove them up my vagina and bleed on them. <laughs> I started my period earlier this afternoon and wouldn't you know it, I had forgotten to pre-wash all of these. I washed them. They smell just like normal. I don't know. So I have been bleeding actually into my Thinks underwear is what I started bleeding into and then I changed over into um, one of my reusable pads, the little panty liner one, which is holding up really well. I'm pretty, let me actually see how heavy I'm bleeding right now because I don't really know. I feel like I'm bleeding pretty heavy, but I don't know. 
I'm lightly bleeding. I won't say I'm spotting because I'm cons I can I'm consistently bleeding, but it's very light. I used to be super heavy and super long, but, but since I started taking Endovan, it started lightening up um, for my endometriosis. And, and literally since I stopped using regular tampons, like you guys know for a while I was using those organic cotton ones before the Diva Cup, I have like my bleeding has like, I don't even know. It's completely changed. I'm very medium to regular and my periods are like I would say a regular length now. So for me when I'm like oh this is all I bled it's you know I I don't know I used to bleed a lot more <laughs> so I hope I mean as much as I would love for my period to disappear altogether um I hope that I can do you know a, a, a thorough test of these um so I hope I bleed for I bleed I, that's weird I'm hoping to bleed a lot just so that I can review these well for you but anyways I'm gonna keep the big big one this one for the overnight one, the super soaker. I'm gonna keep this one for when I go to bed. Uh, but for right now, I'm gonna do the one that's like a size down from it, which they're all, you can pretty much tell like the sizes by just like looking at like the cutout of them. I'm gonna put the third biggest one in uh, and try that and see how it goes. So I'm just gonna kind of pretend like I know what I'm doing. So I'm gonna just fold the tail down and I'm gonna roll it really tightly into the like thing and see if that works. I don't know, does that look like the size of a tampon? That looks like the size of a tampon. Do I have a tampon I can compare this to? Alright, so here are the regular type of tampons I used to use back in the day. These would what I, these are like the regular size OB ones that I would use when I was like light and spotting. I would use the super plus ones though most of the time. So they're pretty comparable size wise as you can see to the width or the length of a tampon. So I'm going to, and like even the width it's pretty comparable. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to shove it up my hoo-ha and see how it does. And yeah, alright. So I put a diva cup in now in front of you guys, I put pads on in front of you guys, and now I'm putting in my first cloth tampon in front of you guys. Oh how far we've come guys. So I'm used to inserting tampons without applicators, like I'm just used to that. With the OB ones, what you would normally do is like you'd take the tail and kind of open up the bottom so you could like have a finger, like have a hole or a divot to put it in. I'm just going to explain to you how I normally put a tampon in without an applicator. So I'm going to use my two fingers and I'm going to spread my labia, which for anybody cringing at the like sound or hearing, you know, real terminology for women's body parts, then... I'm sorry, maybe you need to go somewhere else because I'm a lady and I've got lady bits and I'm talking about them like they're real because they are. So I'm going to use my fingers to spread my labia and then I'm going to just kind of push this in to my vagina and then I'm going to start pushing it with one of my fingers to get it all the way up there and then keeping the string out. So that's how I've always put my own tampons in. It's not that difficult. I know a lot of people when they saw that I was using... Well, that goes up pretty, that went up pretty easy. I know a lot of people, that might actually be too small. We'll see. I know a lot of people uh, were, like a lot of my friends were like, oh, you stick your finger up your thingy to put a tampon in. I don't really see how that's gross. Like it's my body. I wash my hands after. I wipe my finger off on like, a, you know, toilet paper or whatnot. Like I don't really see why it's that big of a deal. And it takes up less space in your purse. I'm not encouraging you to use these because obviously I would never encourage somebody to use tampons after I've discovered the Diva Cup and now reusable tampons. But for, in regards to the applicator, no applicator. I think no applicator is way easier. I've stuck the thing up. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It went in really easily. There's not like a lot of string hanging. So I'm going to see how long I can go. I think regular tampons, I'm gonna give it two hours. I'm gonna see if it lasts for two hours to this size uh, for light bleeding. I'm gonna put this pad on, my uh, super absorbent uh, reusable pad. I'm gonna wear this one while I wait just so that way we can see for sure if there's any bleeding and how much bleeding comes through. So quick uh, just little side note while I'm changing my pads. Um, I totally forgot to go to the bathroom before putting in that cloth tampon which I wish I would have done. Like it just I don't know why I didn't think about that but I don't know why but the lady told me if you have to go to the bathroom and you have your reusable tampon and you don't want to change it make sure to grab the string from behind and hold it out of the way of your green stream. I don't know why I never did that with regular tampons. I always just like pissed on the string and then had a wet string down there like why did it never occur to me to like hold the string out of the way? 
why i don't know but i just did that and the string is still dry none of the pee got on i just held it kind of out of the way of my like you know my business and it still feels comfortable like i didn't feel like when i was pushing to pee i didn't feel like the tampon was coming down at all all right guys so it's 11 o'clock 11 05 around there i have absolutely no leaking right now so i'm gonna take the tampon out <laughs> And as always, I will show you what it looks like because I am actually really interested in seeing what a tampon looks like, especially since it's like basically a rag. I'm more nervous to do this for some reason than I was the Diva Cup. Ugh. All right. Oh, oh, okay. Huh. So it is definitely soaked. Um, it came out really easy. This is what it looks like. It looks like a used tampon, which... Again, I never thought I would be showing YouTube world. Definitely soaked, it's like, do you see? Yeah, you can, you can see it. I kind of want to like unravel it if I can do that without making a mess. Just to see like how absorbent everything was. It doesn't smell weird if that, if anybody was wondering. I would be wondering if I was watching this. It didn't like go all the way through. I'd say that I'm still probably regularly light bleeding as of right now, but it held up. I mean, for three hours, eight to nine, nine to 10, 10 to 11, for three hours, I didn't leak or anything into my pad. So I'd say that's a successful first try. I'm going to, I don't know why I'm still holding this up for you. <laughs> so I decided I wanted to try all this stuff overnight. Now that I know how well the super absorbent uh, reusable pad works for my last review, I've decided to actually test out the product overnight for real. So I'm going to use a super absorbent tampon. I'm going to use my reusable super pad as a backup just so that way if it leaks through this, at least I'll have to stop it from ruining my mattress and my sheets. I want to protect my furniture and I want to protect my new mattress and sheets and stuff like that because it is not worth losing all of that or ruining it for a review. I will say that when I pulled out the tampon, like I said, it not only came out easily, but I didn't feel like the um, string was going to break off at all. Like I don't feel like any part of it was going to break off inside me, which was kind of cool. Here it is. This is super absorbent. This is the heaviest one and I'm going to put it in. So that one fit in a little bit more snugly. I made sure to push it up there so it stays. And I'm going to put my pad on my... I'm going to wash this used tampon. What she suggests doing or what she says to do is to use bar soap, which she said you can use any bar soap you want like any bar soap that you would use on your body. I went for more of an unscented, like bare minimum bar soap. And you're just gonna use that to wash the pad with under the sink, with cold water. Never use hot water with blood else it'll set the stain. And then I'm gonna lay it flat out to dry. And then what I'll do is I'll just throw it in the washing machine with my underwear and pads for today. I worked at it for a pretty long time. I don't know if the lighting's gonna show it right, but it's still a little bit dingy. Like this is where all the blood was. That definitely took way more time and way more effort to get clean than I would have liked. Cause now after this, I'm going to make sure to throw it in the wash and also wash it again. I don't know, that just seems like a lot of work for me. For me, it seems like a lot of work. So. There's something also about the fact that like with my Thinx underwear and like my cloth pads, you guys saw like all I needed was like water to rinse out both my cloth pads and my Thinx underwear. I didn't even need soap and the blood just kind of rinsed out. Whereas this really wanted to hold on to the blood marks. Like it really took a lot of scrubbing and a lot of time with the soap to get all of the like blood out and it's still a little bit dingy. Does it work? Yes, this one worked for three hours on a steady flow. But is it worth it? I'm gonna sniff it. Should I sniff it? I'm gonna sniff it. It just smells like, it just smells like nothing. It does smell clean. So it is really late in the morning. It's 11, 15. Um, if you hear screaming, it's my daughter. Both my youngest kids have been sick for the last few days. <sighs> I've just had, I've just been really sleep deprived this week because of everything going on. So my husband actually hadn't been called out for work. So he let me sleep in this morning, which was really nice. But that means I forgot to take my tampon out. So it's literally been 12 hours with this tampon in. Uh, I completely was comfortable last night. 
even in my like super pad. I know a lot of you guys were like, you know, you can find better ones than the ones that you got off of Amazon and blah, 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 this and that. And I, I believe you. I, I know that there's probably better pads out there. Like I said in that pad review though, I wanted something that was really cheap and that was accessible to me and that was quick to get here. And it was Amazon Prime and it was cheap and blah, blah, and it had decent reviews. And yes, it's super bulky. But for sleeping in, honestly, it's really comfortable. It's like having a pillow up on my crotch. Like, it's just, it's it's really nice in regards to just sleeping in. Yeah, so I woke up and I kind of had this like moment of forgetting that I was even on my period. And then I realized, oh crap, I am on my period. I have a cloth reusable tampon in my vagina and it's been in there for the last 12 hours. Yeah, I need to take it out because I'm probably, sh I'm pretty sure that you're not supposed to keep them in that long. This is another reason why I prefer my Diva Cup. Let me see if I've leaked in it. I am starting to leak in it. I have like a little dot of blood and I felt it come out just now as I, as I was standing here. So I'm gonna real quick pull that out and <laughs> show you guys. See, just a little dot of blood and that's just from me standing, like it's completely fresh. And then that dark stuff around it, that's just a stain from the last period. This is what the tampon looks like after I used it. That little white stuff is from the tissue paper that got stuck to it. Um, there's still the side that doesn't have that much blood on it. The rest has pretty dark blood. It's pretty soaked as you can see The little string is soaked down through caught quite a bit of blood obviously I mean I'm bleeding enough that as I'm sitting on the toilet peeing like the bowl is getting full of blood as well You know what I mean like when you're pushing so I am bleeding Obviously, I don't think this is probably my heaviest. I've ever bled. This is probably like regular bleeding I don't know See, it's so hard to gauge anymore because I before was using products that I feel like made my periods worse and made them heavier and so I bled more. Yeah, it worked. It did its job. I So that's great. But I won't lie, I'm not really looking forward to like having to wash this right now. And it's not because it's gross because I don't think it's gross. I just don't. It's my own, it's my own body juices and that didn't sound good. It's something that was in me. So it's just not grossing me out that I have to wash it. It's just the fact that like, I don't, I remember how long it took me yesterday to rinse and wash and soap and whatever it out. And I just, I'm like, eh, I'd rather just be dumping my Diva cup and rinsing it and putting it back in. I do think this one did quite a good job at absorbing more. Like, as you can see, there's a little ton of blood in there. I will right off the bat though say that I would never, ever, 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 ever feel comfortable, even if I was just spotting and this is just me, but I would never feel comfortable just wearing a, one of these by themselves without a backup. Um, but that's true with anything, my Diva Cup, anything. Like now that I have things underwear, I just would, I just wear those every single day of my period, if, even if I have a device or something in me, you know, just cause my periods fluctuate and sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm just spotting today. And then suddenly it's like Niagara Falls down there. Yeah, I just would not ever feel safe. And I'm a little bit forgetful. If I'm super comfortable, I'm like, I forget that I'm even bleeding. So I'm gonna wash this out now. <laughs> I just wanna show you guys and after I washed it, I could not get it completely clean. You can see all those marks around it. I could not get it, I could not get it completely clean again. This is what the one that I used yesterday looks like. This one actually dried pretty clean. I mean, it's still a little bit darker towards this end. It's really soft, but what I'm gonna do is I have to wash two pairs of things underwear and a pad, two pads anyways, and I have to do some towels. I'm just gonna throw these in a little washing bag, or what do you call it, delicates bag, and I'm going to wash them and see if they come clean. I know a lot of you guys wondered about the washing, like always oh, annoying having to do laundry and stuff in between, but honestly, because I use my Diva Cup, there's not a lot of laundry that needs to happen, and when I do use a pad and it gets a little bit of blood in it or something like that, I usually just rinse it out real quick and then just hang it to dry in between washings, but I usually do like one to two loads. Like I'll do a load every other day so that way nothing like molds or nothing gets set or something like that. But I don't know, I usually make sure to kind of have, since I know when my period's happening, like right now I have a load of towels that need to be washed. So I'll just wash everything with my load of towels because my load of towels I wash with the same stuff. You know, it's all natural. I don't use softener with those. You know, so that way I'm getting two things done at once, if that makes sense. And honestly, a really tiny load of wash and a few, you know, a half an hour on the dryer is like way better than again, having to keep replacing pads and tampons and stuff like that. All right guys, so it's 4.04 and the last time I checked in, I think it was like what, two? So this is about the amount of bleeding that I had 
Um, it came out really easily. It's not overly soaked or anything like that. There was no leaking on my Thinx underwear whatsoever. Um, unraveled, it looks like as you can see, like it, it absorbed in. But yeah, two hours, I think that, I mean, it did its job for two hours. It was comfortable. I have no complaints. I'm gonna smell it real quick. It doesn't have a weird smell. I would say it's pretty comparable to uh, regular tampon uses, at least for me. It is what it is. So I'm gonna wash this one and then I'm gonna put in the other one. I have two of the same size. I'm gonna put this one in uh, and then I'll wash this one and the other two are in the dryer right now. And we'll try to finish out the day using just these and my Thinx underwear. All right guys, so it is 5.03. I am actually on my way to Costco. I'm gonna run a few errands. So far, I feel fine still in this tampon. Um, I'm still not spotty and I went to the bathroom right before I left to make sure to move the tail as to not pee all over it. Again, I don't know why I never thought about that. Oh man, all those times I had that drippy, gross, ugh, string, ugh. I've been basically just running around running errands as you guys saw and I have no leaky. Tampon's pretty comfortable. I haven't really noticed it. Um, this is again my second day, first full day on my period, but second day bleeding. And yeah, I'm gonna go pee. So this is what it looks like. Pretty bloody all the way around. Super weird that I'm dangling this in front of you guys. Oh, and my window's open. That's nice. This is the first time that the string has been bloodied and it looks like it actually bled through more of the layers this time. Don't know if that's because of the way that I wrapped it or what exactly. It was pretty absorbent this time around. So this was the this was the outside of it, and look, all the blood seeped into the inside. So this is the outside and the darker parts on the inside. Looks like I have had a little bit of clotting. I can see some shininess and some like gooey looking stuff. So for those people asking about clotting, how it handled that, it handled perfectly fine like any tampon would. I did wash those other two. This one still has a little bit of tan like darkness at the end. And then this big one didn't come all the way clean. It still has some blood stains you can see there. And you can see there. So washing it didn't get all of the blood out, but I don't know, it doesn't really bother me just because they're, I mean, it's my blood, who cares? I think this held up really, really well. I would say for throughout today, at a normal time, if I was actually just using these tampons, I would do maybe three or four of them throughout the day. Because honestly, I haven't had, like I said, I haven't had any spotting in any of my backups today or even last night until I stood up. So I think I'll probably just free bleed for a little bit in my Thinx underwear, uh, give my vagina a little bit of a rest. And then tonight, again, I'll put the Super One back in and sleep in that and then check in tomorrow morning and uh, let you guys know if I bled any heavier or for, you know, if this held up for a second night. So this is kind of how I'm hang drying them to dry. I put them on a clean towel that's already hanging. Like I just put this clean towel up on one of my racks and they're just kind of hanging flat out um, drying. All right guys, so it's like 11.30 at night. I'm about to go to bed. I just went to the bathroom. I had my first foul with the cloth tampon. And by that I mean I tried to put it in and as you can see, as I was putting it in, like it unraveled or unwrapped as I was putting it in. So I had to pull it back out and this is how much I'm bleeding. It already like had absorbed some blood just from that like few seconds of being inside me. So I'm gonna wrap it back up. So that's the first time that's happened though. So I'm not gonna like think too much of it. I think. So I'm gonna go to sleep with the Super Soaker uh, tampon in and I'm gonna put actually another super absorbent cloth pad on. Cause it's really comfy. Like I said, it's like a, it's like a little pillow for my vajayjay and I like it. Morning time is not a good look on me, John. No leaking whatsoever. My pad is completely clean. This is what it looks like. Obviously, I'm not bleeding really heavily. I don't know what's going on. So this is what it looks like unraveled. It's, yeah, I don't know. It worked though. It worked perfectly fine. No leaking whatsoever. It was comfortable. I don't really know what else to say. They work. All right guys, so it's day three of my period and I'm basically only spotting right now. Magical period this month, I'll tell you what guys. It has been a magical period. It's like 2.30 in the afternoon and I've been wearing my Thinx underwear because there's like nothing coming out of me. But then when I go pot, like to the bed, I, I was about to say when I go potty, but I'm obviously not talking to my four year old, so I'm gonna use big girl words. When I went pee earlier, 
you know, when you wipe and stuff, there's still something coming off on the toilet paper. So that to me is realizing that I am still spotting a little bit. So I'm about to go for a really long run. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one of the little tiny spotting tampons in just to kind of clog up there just to make sure nothing comes out or if God forbid I do start bleeding heavily while I'm running. Stranger things have happened in my period life. This way I'll be prepared a little bit. So I'm gonna put this in and I'm gonna go for a run and I'll check back. All right, so I didn't get as far as I wanted to. I only got about three and a half miles in, but that's still better than nothing. So I'm wearing the tiny tampon. Let's see how it did for my spotting. I didn't wear anything as a backup. I just wore it itself. And da da da, whoo. Okay, so I'm definitely spotting. <laughs> My period obviously picked up as I was running. I knew it was too good to be true. I knew, I knew it was too good to be true. There's a one tiny little driplet on my underwear. Not a huge deal. I left here at 2.40 for my run and I ran for 36 minutes. So it's 3.51 right now. So I've had this in for over an hour. I would say I've had this in for about an hour and 10 minutes. Definitely soaked all the way around. I'm definitely more than spotting, but I'd say I'm back to a light flow. I probably should have worn, if I would have worn the bigger one, I would probably be set for another hour, but um, I'm pretty excited. I mean, this kept the blood in me for the most part while I was doing a high intensity exercise. I mean, I was running and um, it kept everything in minus one little droplet of blood on my underwear. So all in all, it stayed in place though while I ran. It was comfortable, no complaints. I'm pretty excited about that. It worked, it did what it needed to do, and I'm gonna take a shower now because I I'm sweaty. <laughs> All right guys, so as you could probably tell, I did stop documenting after I believe my second or third day bleeding just because there wasn't really much to keep documenting about. My last few days were kind of just spotting. I don't really know what a normal period is for me, normal being the key word here, because I have been anywhere from like a bleeding out, almost dying, like ruining pants, ruining sheets, ruining like furniture, bleeding, to light bleeding, to medium bleeding, to not having periods at all for a period of time, um, to back to the Niagara Falls bleeding. Like, I mean, even if you've watched the last three or four periods of mine that I've been documenting, even all of them have been different. Like the flow, the length, all of that. This period was miraculously really light. I maybe had one day of of heavy bleeding, which I wouldn't even call it heavy bleeding. Like I know what heavy bleeding is and I wouldn't even call it heavy bleeding. I would just call it regular bleeding to moderate bleeding. And then the rest of those days were kind of light bleeding to spotting. So the last few days uh, that I didn't document was basically just that dark spotting of discharge, like that light, just like light bleeding, but it was like dark, dark, thick blood. I didn't, it wasn't really exciting. So I didn't really document that. They did work. My final, my final thoughts on them is that these tampons did work. I like that they're reusable. I like that they're so affordable. I like that, you know, there's a video for me to go and, you know, make them myself if I want to. The only thing that I don't like about these tampons is that they are a lot more work than the Diva Cup. I'm trying to be as unbiased as possible with these reviews because I feel like the point of these reviews for me is to just show you guys if they work or not, not necessarily if I like them or not, because my feelings about something can be completely different than somebody else's feelings about something because my vagina is not identical to somebody else's, my flow is not the same as somebody else's, you know, all of those different things are completely different than somebody else's. So, you know, my opinion kind of about what I like and don't like really shouldn't matter to somebody else because they're completely different than me. All I want to do is kind of show you guys if it works and, you know, how it works, kind of, if that makes sense. So I'm really trying not to kind of do this whole... I don't like these, I won't use this type of thing. I'm really trying hard not to do that because I don't want to sway people because I think people should just try products um, to see what works for them. But I would just say that these are a lot of work compared to say the Diva Cup or a pad. And by a lot of work, I just mean what you guys saw, they just take a little bit longer to clean out by hand. I did run them through the wash again using uh, all free and clear type uh, detergent, you know, and they came clean after that, but it's just, there was, there was a lot to get it clean though, like the hand washing clean. And I felt like I needed to get all that blood out because I didn't want it to stain or mold or get any weirdness on it. So I will say that like the pads, the reusable pads that I use, which I love these, um, they washed out a lot easier. Um, and my thing's underwear rinsed out by hand a lot easier. But I do, 
think that these work really well. As you saw, I mean the proof is in the, I don't want to say the proof is in the pudding because that's kind of gross with what we're talking about. The proof is in the blood not being in my pants or on my bed. They worked. I mean they kept the blood up there, they absorbed the blood as much as I think a tampon would. In regards to if they work, yes they do. Are they more affordable? Of course, because you can reuse them. Um, but I just think in my honest opinion there are easier uh, things to use. Like I would definitely not take these on like a road trip. I would not take these if I was staying over at somebody's house or on vacation. Just because, it, you know, rinsing them out and all of that is just a little bit more difficult than say just wearing a cup and dumping it, putting it back up, rinsing the cup, that kind of thing. Would I use these again? Definitely. It wouldn't be my first choice though. Like I would definitely pick something else that's easier to use that I have on hand. But if I, you know, if something happened to my Diva Cup, like say my dog chewed it up, like she chewed up my bike guard, I would definitely, you know, keep these on hand as kind of a backup since I don't buy tampons anymore. I think that these are a great option for people who are like, oh, the Diva Cup's too uncomfortable. Oh, the Diva Cup just like, you know, I would never, it's just not something that I could even think about putting up my vagina. I think these are a great alternative to somebody who doesn't want to use tampon tampons because they don't like spending money on tampons or filling up the landfills with them. I think that these are a great alternative. Uh, but again, it's not something that I would grab for first. I Like I said in those clips, I don't know if I kept this in the clip, but I definitely would say that, you know, it is something that you have to be consciously thinking about you know after two to three hours you do need to change them out if you're bleeding you know moderately to heavily I would suggest wearing a backup with them but that's just me because I'm really paranoid and because again my periods are so different I never know when I'm gonna be heavy to when I'm gonna be light but that's just you know that I think that's true with any tampon you know you want to make sure to check on it and stuff like that clotting was an issue bleeding was an issue uh, putting them in and taking them out were an issue. I feel like they're actually more comfortable to put in and slide up I didn't feel any tearing or anything like that when one of them was only slightly bled through when I pulled it out It did not hurt whatsoever which slightly bled through tampons hurt like a bitch coming out It feels like I'm like pulling sandpaper out of my vagina sometimes, you know So that is really a nice aspect of them. They're way more comfortable I would say than tampons just because they do conform more to your body but yeah, not to just keep repeating myself over and over again, but yes, these worked, I feel like, in my opinion, exactly like tampons would for me. They were more comfortable, uh, they're obviously better for the environment, they're obviously better for your body, they're obviously better for your wallet, but again, they're just not the easiest thing to use or grab for in regards to, you know, the Diva Cup or something like that. But again, I think it just makes a great alternative. So if you're thinking about trying cloth tampons, I don't see why there's any reason not to. I don't want any of you guys by any means to take what I say as gold though. Like, I don't know, like I myself research stuff left and right before I try them. There's a lot of people who would say that cloth tampons are unhealthy. There's a lot of people who would say that they are the only thing you should use. That's true with the Diva Cup. That's true with sea sponges. That's true with pads. It's true with a lot of things. Everybody's got their own opinions. Even gynecologists have their own opinions. I myself kind of look for research on both sides and then just figure out, well, do I want to do it? Do I want to make that risk? I mean, putting a normal tampon up your vagina that is chemically, like, there's chemicals in it and all that, like, you're taking a risk every time you do that, too. So, for me, it was just kind of, what's my personal choice? And I feel like that's how you guys should see these reviews as, too, is if you don't think that they're right for you, then by all means, don't try them. But if it's something that you're considering doing, then by all means, like, go ahead and try them. Like, I just, I guess I just don't want you guys thinking that because I'm talking about it because I used it, that it's safe for everybody. I guess you could just see this as my disclaimer that I should have put at the beginning of all my videos, is just that what works for one person doesn't work for another person. I'm not a medical professional. I'm not the FDA. I'm not, you know, I'm none of those things. I'm just somebody who is testing alternative products for herself and sharing it with those who are interested or curious themselves. So I did pass these by my mom before I used them. I kind of had her look at them. If you're not familiar with my mother, she's a nurse practi practitioner OBGYN. She's been practicing for a long time now. And I wanted to get her kind of idea on it because again, there are such conflicting things about reusable products. And she said, you know what, what did they do back in the day? You know, I think she thought these are healthier than regular tampons, you know, all things like that. She actually used sea sponges for a long time, which there's a lot of conflicting information about sea sponges and whether those are healthy or not. 
Side note, yes, I will be reviewing those next month. Long story short, just use your brains, use your own opinion, be your own person and kind of make your opinions on, you know, whether or not you want to try these things. Don't take what I say as like the written rule by any means on periods. Uh, this is just my experience with these products. That's about it. I'm going to let you guys go because I don't know how long this video is and I don't want to keep going on and on and on. I feel like I've ranted about how we should normalize periods in enough of these videos already. Uh, you guys know how I feel about those things like periods are normal. Periods are normal. Yay for periods. Uh, I will say that my periods, as you guys can tell in these videos, have gotten so much lighter and so much easier and so much more comfortable since I started using all natural products. And I don't think that that's a coincidence. I definitely think it has to do with the fact that I haven't been putting anything chemically induced or, you know, those things in my body. I really think that these natural alternative products have been helping me every single month. And I know that because of A, the proof in these videos and be because I've heard from a lot of other people that that's what's happened for them as well. So plus 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 in my book. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you do, as always, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment below because I don't know what you guys like unless you guys tell me. And if you want to see more, obviously subscribe. I upload new videos two to three times a week. They aren't always about periods, but they are always about stuff that I'm interested in or have floating around my head. So uh, I want to thank you all for everyone who's like supported this channel and been watching me and have been so supportive about this series. My Diva Cup video has hit over 100,000 views, which I think is absolutely bonkers crazy because a that means that a lot of people have seen me bleed <laughs> on camera but also because that means a lot of people sat through like 46 minutes of me just like jabbering on um, but I think it's pretty incredible that there's so many like awesome women in this community and even men I've had a few people comment saying like oh I'm gonna show this to my daughter I'm really struggling with trying to help her through a period which how awesome are you dad like i don't think my dad even really talked to me about periods so the fact that there's men out there who are genuinely concerned and trying to help their daughters navigate this like crazy thing called menstruation like i think that's just awesome yeah i just think it's crazy and i just think it's awesome that there's like that so much is coming out of that video like i just I'm gonna start crying. Why am I gonna start crying? What is wrong with me? I'm not even on my period anymore. I just think it's really great and I just think you guys are really great and I, you know, out of everything that I've ever done on YouTube, I mean, I've, I had my baby on YouTube five years ago or four years ago. Uh, I think that this is probably the most real I've ever been in front of the camera, obviously, and the most I've ever personally shared and I just, the fact that it's been accepted and just welcomed with such warmth from all of you guys is just, unbelievable and I just want to say thank you so much. So that's about it. I'm going to stop babbling. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit distracted because I'm testing out a lipstick right now that a company sent me and I feel like it's traveling all over my face and my hair is at this weird but you know what? Why am I even concerned with the way that I look? You guys just saw me pull a reusable cloth tampon out of my vagina. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to let you guys go as always. Thank you for watching so much. If you have a suggestion for an upcoming video, period video or any other type of video, you know me. I'm no holds bar I'm everything's out there so let me know I'm gonna let you go I said that already like five times but for real I'm gonna let you go because Chipotle is knocking on my door literally like my husband's waiting outside the door for me to shut up so he can come in with the Chipotle so I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you all later bye